as a power source of the entire industry. Motor has shifted the interchange between electric energy and the kinetic energy by interaction between electricity and the magnetism. It's widely used by its simple structure, low cost and durability, with high efficiency and reasonable performance. Nowadays, Moto plays a dramatically important role in the global automation industry. It has great recognition as the metallurgy, electrical power, petrochemical, coal, mining, building materials, and the paper making industries. Motors will have various damages, such as insulation aging, mechanical damages by the influence of the grid and the load side. The consequence of the motor faults is obvious. They might cause motor damage or burning to increase the maintenance cost or even production break-off and decrease the productivity. In some extreme circumstances, security accidents may happen. Let's focus on two major faults of the motors during their running. Symmetrical faults and asymmetrical faults. Three-phase short circuit, overload and stall. Those account great amount to the symmetrical faults. When the faults happen, the three-phase current is balanced. There is no negative current and zero current as well. But the damage to the motor is bringing heat effect by the enlargement of the current. On the contrary, three-phase imbalance, single-phase ground connection or phase-to-phase -phase short circuit are the major phenomena of the asymmetrical faults. When such fault happens, there is no obvious overcurrent, but the negative current increases significantly. So the damage of the motor is the negative sequence effect caused by the negative current, such as terminal overheat of the motor, road vibration, and the decrease of the start torque. Generally, comparing to the other mechanical devices, motor as one of the most important devices in the automation production industry. Ensure the motor continuous operation is the priority of the user and the service engineers. How to find out the cause of the motor faults and solve the problems to secure the ordinary work and the performance liability is almost the crucial point and the starting direction for the industry. When we look at the integration of the motor control devices in the past two decades, the developing trend is from a single thermal relay to the integrated intelligent motor production and control system era. The thermal relay is the overload protection component by simple design and cost effect in a very long time. But the performance and the consistency of the thermal relay is not as stable as it is supposed to be by the limitation of the raw materials and the production processor. Furthermore, the thermal relay was easy to ignore that great amount of heat accumulation which caused by slight overload. In this regard, the aging of the motor winding insulation will damage the motor. As a replacement of the thermal relay, a simple electronic analog motor protector comes out with a microprocessor. It solved the delay protection disadvantage of the thermal relay and increased the protection function as phase loss and the ground connection. It also contains the simple display and the communication interface, particular for the independent motor control box. Today, the integrated intelligent motor protection and control system is becoming the best solution of the motor management. It has strong anti-interference ability, highly measuring accuracy, comprehensive protection, programmable control, 
friendly HMI interface and the multiple communication field bus interface, which makes the smart motor maintenance and management as possible. Generally, the development of the motor controller pushed the rapid growth of the control cabinet move forward. As the application of the motor controller is a motor control cabinet, the factory MCC will take place by IMCC, which means the control type shifting from the conventional hard wiring to the intelligent field bus communication. As a core component of the IMCC, the motor controller has the following advantages. Let's go through those advantages one by one. For the single motor circuit, the motor controller integrated measuring, control, management, and communication as a compact unit. It eliminated the usage of the intermediate components such as I.O. modular, transducer, relay, button, and cables, etc. By this reason, it reduced the fault rate of the MCC cabinet and increased the liability and maintained the cost effect as well. As can be seen from the previous charts, the motor controller contains great protection functions. The protection enlargement by voltage and non-electrical protection pays great contribute for the comprehensive motor protection. In particular, the high-speed data acquisition and the faster calculation makes the identification of fault signal and the quick response as possible, which is distinct to the conventional thermal relay. Similar to the PLC, the motor controller is programmable. By this means, the device has various applications. For example, when configures overcurrent protection logic, you could set parameters during the start or running process, respectively. Furthermore, to control a reversing motor, you could choose to control the digital input or relay functional attributes according to the relevant diagrams. It simplified the wiring and commissioning process. Now, the motor management information is no longer limited at those normal parameters such as start-stop status, voltage, current, and power, and so on. People can search the power distribution quality of the motor circuit, current and voltage waveform at fault, statistics the wear rate of the contactor. This data could be acquired by the motor controller. It provides a single and accurate motor management possibility to enhance the use life of the motor. The motor controller was equipped with a variety of field bus interface. It makes the motor as essential for the intelligent sensors to the digital factory. Come along with the industry 4.0 era. The conventional field bus interface is developing towards to the industrial Ethernet, particular at the mode control device. Now it's clear. As a core component of the IMCC, the mode controller is no longer just for the mode control and the protection purpose. Its powerful processing ability and the plant I.O. interfaces could not only release the bundle of the PLC, but also analyze the power quality and the motor status in real time as for the better management to the motors. We believe that when the more and the newer technologies, standards and regulations apply on the motor controller, it could be better. Even the functionality of the motor controller is getting mature than before. It contributes perfecting to the motor management and control. But to those internal mechanical problems of the motor, such as rotor fault, bearing fault, winding fault, 
The controller could not make a right diagnosis and could not estimate the mechanical use life as well. How to make the online monitoring and the fault diagnosis to the motor device has been the researching direction for years. Invasive and non-invasive are the major directions. Invasive is monitoring the parameters such as vibration, speed, torque, and temperature noise in real time to figure out the fault type and the location by installing the relevant sensors in advance. Non-invasive diagnose the motor faults by the current or power spectrum analysis to capture the fault component without install and sensors but only access the motor state voltage and the current signal. Apparently, the non-invasive is simple and economy. It does not require any corrective action to the motor. It's even better that the hardware of the motor controller available the measurement function by state voltage and current access. Only by the software algorithm could accomplish the online fault diagnosis. The online fault diagnosis is the foundation of the motor protection. It could find out the problems of the motor at the early stage, including the internal mechanical fault and electric fault. It's the extension of the conventional motor protection. How to combine both of them as a hot topic and a developing trap for the mode controller. Wow, good question. When we're simply looking at the motor control or protection, no matter the soft starter or converter, when the smooth starting is finished and switching to the normal running stator, the normal protection function is there. In this regard, the motor controller is no longer required, but the digital factory requires a higher standard of the ordinary management and maintenance, such as for a particular motor circuit. The so energy consumption data, power quality data, the historical star running extreme current, star store waveform, and so on. This data is for the better analysis to the device management. The motor controller provides such data. So, even the motor circuit already has the soft starter or converter, it could still install the intelligent motor protection controller. If you want to know more about the motor controller, visit this website or send us your message.